Hi, my name is Warren. I work here at Franklin Building Supply in McCall and over the years I've had the pleasure of serving in a number of different positions and uh, at one point in my illustrious career I helped with operations out here in the yard and during that time we identified the need for a way to prevent snow from blowing into our buildings and to protect our inventory from weather in general, uh, sun, snow, rain, wind, etc. Uh, originally, our facility was set up with a sliding plywood door here and a number of other doors around the facility had sliding doors as well. Those became um, frankly dangerous and they're a maintenance nightmare and they're hard to use. So we uh, did a little research and found a product called Shade Dry which is a woven polyethylene type fabric. As you can see hanging here on the building and this is one of the first iterations of that concept that we utilize. So uh, we simply determine the size and the shape of the panel that's needed and place the order with the company down south maybe in Georgia, Alabama, somewhere down there. They create the piece and send it to us and we install it. So what it does is it allows us something that's easy to move back and forth. It's not heavy. It blocks the wind, it blocks the snow, it blocks the rain, and it also blocks the sunshine. The material is available in a number of different configurations and you can determine what level of protection from the sun you'd like. Uh, it refers to the density of the weave of the fabric. So you'll notice the barn door track and the way that the panel is connected to that track. We've since improved upon that idea and we'll be showing you that next. This is the most recent iteration of our shade dry fabric. We identified the need to keep snow, uh, primarily snow, from blowing up onto our saw table. And so, as you can see, we're still using a barn door track, but we've, I guess, evolved into using better hardware that's a little sturdier and uh, is much easier to operate. This one incorporates a wand, so there's just a piece of closet rod in the end here, and it's very simple to operate. And we have full access to our saw table as needed and it keeps probably 90 percent of the weather off the saw table. It was a real problem for us before uh, and as you can see it closes up just as easily and we don't have any issues with big heavy sliding doors, doors whipping around in the wind or really any maintenance nightmares. This is another example of our use of shade dry. We use this fabric uh, in this instance to help keep snow and weather out of this area where we keep our wood stove stock. And we thought we'd show you how it looked from the outside and from the inside. So now, as you can see from the inside looking out, uh, the panel lets light into the building and it lets air circulate. So if we happen to get moisture in here, um, air will circulate in and out of here during the summer even in the evening when we're not here and the door is closed. So it's a very effective barrier against weather and it also uh, allows a, a safety angle because you can see out through it as opposed to a solid door. So many years ago we identified the same problem that all of our lumber yards experience, how to keep boards covered in the summertime and keep the sun off of them and then of course the yards that are experience winter weather like we do need a way to keep snow off of units. So another um, example of a good use of shade dry is this arrangement. As you can see, all of our units have a shade dry panel over top of them. And we used to do this utilizing lumber wrap and a stick of rebar in the front. And it became sort of unmanageable. We now utilize the shade dry, which lets water through, but not sun and not snow and uh, we have innovated so that the shade dry is cut to length and manufactured for each unit size and then when you need to access that unit it simply hangs here and slides back out of the way you can pull your material and then when you're done you simply replace it and it's very easy and very effective so thanks for your time and that's the Shade Dry story in McCall.